It's Ugly Kotsky. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be listing my top 10 favorite levels in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Let's get started. Alright, for number 10, for the 10th spot, it goes to Pokemon Stadium 2 from the Pokemon games. Now, when I play Brawl, I personally love Big Obin playing levels. That's just how that's just how I like to play Brawl. Now, with Pokemon Stadium 2, the level is actually quite big, and I like that. And there is plenty of level, like the level changes, and you know it affects the game, and it just does it in an in an okay way that makes the game really interesting. Now, why it's only a number 10 is even though the level transitions to different types of playing areas. It's still not particularly it's still not particularly as fun to play as some of the other levels. Some of the other levels do it a lot more better. And the music, you know, it's traditional Pokemon music, but honestly, I found it very uninspiring. I would much rather like to listen to the Pokemon music from the TV anime series. But that's just me. Alright, and for number 9, I'm giving it to Bridge of Elden from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, this is on the list because I love big levels, and in my opinion, or not my opinion, but this is pretty much the biggest level in the entire game. The, which, which, is, which is great, and I love it. But the reason why it's at number 9 is because... As compared to the Pokemon Stadium level, this stage only does one thing. The bridge blows up, and then the bridge reappears. That's all that happens in this level, and that's kind of boring. The music is great, don't get me wrong, but if that's all it does in the entire level, mm, it's, it's still not as fun. I'm sorry, but it's still not bad. I do I still do like it a lot more than Pokemon Stadium 2. And that's why it's number 9. Now, for number 8, I'm giving it to Port Town Arrow Dive from F0. I really wanted to put this level much higher in the list, but there's just so many awesome levels and not that this is any less awesome. There's probably well, okay, let's let's say let's say the good things. It's the level changes very changes very frequently, but adds a lot of fun to the gameplay. It has awesome music. The only problem with this particular level is sometimes it just feels a little bit too frantic, a little bit too hectic, and there's so many things to move and to dodge, and sometimes, well for me, that's a little bit too crazy. I want to calm down just a little bit more. So, that's, that's just why I put it on number 8. Alright, I'm giving 7 to Shadow Moses Island from Metal Gear Solid. Now, some of you might be wondering, why, why, did, I, why did I pick Shadow Moses Island? Because it's actually not a very big level. It's big, but, well, you all know what I mean. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's, I, I enjoy the level... Um, it's kind of nice that you're a little bit boxed in, so in a weird way, the only way you can ever get someone out is if you shoot them upward. Um, I know that's not really a huge, humongous big deal, but it's kind of neat. I know you can break the walls and everything. Um, I, I, I wish I could say more, except for the fact that I, I do like the music. Some music is actually quite nice. But... I don't know, I like Metal Gear Solid, I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's, that's, I don't know, I, I like Metal Gear. Alright, in sixth place I'm giving it to Final Destination. Now, alright, let's just get this over with and really quick because 
I'm probably getting a lot of questions already. Let's let's explain. Final destination. Music. I I couldn't care less about the music. The level itself, it's pretty small. But I like what Final Destination represents, and that's kind of like the mono a mono, no level changing. It's just one platform. It's you and me, and we just we just want to kick ass. That's 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 all. That's all it is. But for some weird reason, I like it. But that's just me. Okay, number five is going to Halberd from Kirby. Now, I know, this is another one of those stages where there's several platforms, it flies around for a few minutes, touches down on solid ground for a few minutes, it goes back up and continues the cycle all over again. But, I like this stage. It just, well, I love the Kirby music, I love the, the new remixes to the Kirby music, and I just like the universe. It's so cool to see the Halberd just flying around, while you're just duking it out, you touch down, and the ship has its own weapons that add to the, um, they add to the difficulty to the stage. It's a nice balance. It's not as hectic as Port Town Aero Dive, but I like Kirby. What else can I say? <laughs> All right, okay. I am giving fourth place to Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know what to say. When I play this level. I just feel good and happy inside, maybe because of all the sunshine, no pun intended, seriously. It's nice to play something kind of so happy and cheerful, especially when you're playing um, the uh, Delfino Plaza music. I don't know what it's called, I forget. But another thing that makes this level so great is the fact that, yeah, it the, it's, it's just like the Kirby level where, you know, the platforms uh, fly around for a while and then touch down, but when the platforms touch down on solid ground, the level just opens up and becomes even bigger. So there's a lot of space to go and mess around and play with, and I love that. I... that, plus the music, it just... it just feels so joyful, and I, I love it. Alright, we're almost done. Top three. Third place is going to Picto Chat. Now, I love Picto Chat. It's a very fun level. The music, eh, it's okay. It, it, it could use some work, but it is overshadowed by the level itself. The fact that it is so simple, it's so simple, and the little drawings that affect the stage is the charm of Picto Chat, and it's what makes the level so addictive and fun. The game already is quite big. And the drawings just add more to the level, make it more, I guess in a weird way, three-dimensional. Even though it's 2D. Please don't comment about that. <laughs> but, I don't know, I love it. Okay, number two, I gotta make this fast. Number two goes to Green Hill Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I know this is a small level, it's a very small level, and the fact that the ground breaks just makes the level that much more smaller. But it's this brings back so many wonderful memories i grew up with sonic i love sonic everything about it the levels the music oh my god the music this stage has the best music both original and remix <laughs> it i i don't even care that the level is small the music and just the feeling of being back in one of the old original levels in sonic is just absolutely amazing this deserves number two. And finally, number one goes to Pirate Ship from The Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, or Wind Waker. Whichever you want, you choose. You decide. The reason why I like this level so much and it gets number one because it is, to me, the perfect balance. The level itself is big. The way that the level transists over time is good. The music, I love the music. Taltal Heights, Mulgara Battle, Gerudo Valley. I love all that music. The fact that it's even another daytime level is so cheerful and a lot of fun to play. I just particularly love this level so much, and that's why I'm giving it number one. Well, there you have it, my favorite 10 levels. Well, alright, take care everyone.